are you today? I hope you are happy, fine. Okay, well, today is Thursday, the 2nd of July. Bye-bye, June. Hello, July. Yes. Okay, we are going to check page uh, 52 from the exam. We are going to um, see article. Yes, uh, how to write an article. Revise it. Yes, okay. See, we are going to see grammar reference 166. I'm going to uh, project some... Um, some articles, yes, the way we have to write an article in order to help you to do it, yes. Then we are going to work on pages 88 and 89, yes, okay. Uh, then you are going to write an article, yes, um, that is the one from page 88, exercise 4, from the class book, of course, yes, okay, from the class book, yes, okay. Um... Then we are going to do uh, page 53 from the exam mindset mindset. Not a lot of homework, so you can do it successfully. Yes, okay? Well, shall we go there? Ah, ojo, cuadernillo, get it. Van a estar, eh, tienen que conseguir los activity books, yes, en la librería fotocopiadora Oropel, que está por Jonas Salcas y Coronel Bogado, donde compraron las short stories en el mismo lugar, ¿sí? Y para los que no compraron la short story, van a tener que conocer el lugar porque tienen que ir a conseguir el cuadernillo, ¿sí? Eh, recuerden que siempre doy tarea del cuadernillo, ¿sí? Para las holidays, así que tienen que tenerlo ya, por eso mando ahora para que vayan organizándose y pasen a comprar. ¿Por qué? Porque los chicos de la librería se van a tomar días de vacaciones, así que va a estar cerrado y no quiero que te quedes sin tu activity book, así que ya te mando la notita y la carátula del activity book para que lo puedas identificar. Es importante cuando vayas a encargar que te fotocopien, pedir cuál es fifth year, obviamente sabes tu curso, ¿yes? Fifth year, ¿yes? Secondary, quinto año de secundaria. Y va a haber un dossier donde vos tenés que pedirle a chico ese y decir, este es el que quiero que me fotocopie, ¿sí? Y decirle el curso también, pero nosotros le dejamos un dossier con todas las carátulas, ¿está? Pero te digo eso, te doy ese tip. Te voy a mandar en el tablón hoy eh, la notita, el Google Map, donde está la librería, por si no te guías dónde queda. Y también te voy a enviar la tapa de tu um, cuadernillo. Yes, ok. It's important that you get it. Yes. Ten en cuenta que estos chicos se toman, están en horario comercial, pero se van a tomar días de, eh, días off, digamos. Ok. Good. So shall we go to page 53, okay, page uh, 52, yes, from the exam, my see, my see, remember, did you have, did you have your hair cut? Have you ever had your bike repaired? Yes, okay, um, will you have, will you have your room painted next week, okay? Are you going to have your um, computer repaired? Yes, is it clear? Good, well, so this is have something done, okay? Is it clear? Have or get something done, so I want you to revise everything, yes, okay? So let's see how did it go, okay? Number one, we have had our garden made. Yes, ok, esto lo teníamos que poner en present perfect. We have had our garden made. Yes, remember, have, had, ¿por qué? Porque es en present perfect, ¿qué cosa? Something, that is the garden, yes, made, that is the verb in, three, in third column, yes, ok? In the past participle. Number two, uh, we have had our old windows replaced with double glazing, two, three, we have the number one and number two were in present perfect, number three, we have a solar panel installed on our roof, this is number three and it's in past, yes, hicimos instalar, yes, okay, number four, we have some curtains fitted, yes, we have some curtains fitted, that keep in the heat, yes? Five, future. We are going to have what? Some of our lawn made into a vegetable patch. Six, past 
we have our coal fire replaced by a good burner. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Es importante que lo analices antes de, alma, de armar la estructura. Acordate que vos podés decir, I will have my room repaired. I'm going to have my room repaired. I have my room repaired in the past. Yes, I have had my room repaired, present perfect. Yes, okay, is it clear? So you ha I have my room repaired in the past, yes? It's important that you uh, can uh, write the sentences in the different tenses, yes? Tenses, okay? Uh, then we have number one. One, look after, need of. Three, advantage of, are on bad terms. Five, passionate about, be good for, it's out of, annoyed with. All these phrases, all these phrases must be in A to Seeds Notebook, en el cuaderno de la A a la Z de vocabulario. Entonces, ¿qué vas a hacer? Look for, perdón, look after. Yes, okay. My mother is going to look after some uh, children at the weekend to earn some money. Yes, okay. He is in need of some medicine. Is it clear? Oh, I think I will take advantage of this problem. Yes, okay. Number four. Uh, are we in good terms? Are we on bad terms now? After the discussion? Number five. I am passionate about drawing. Number six. Are you good for... Um, do you think that um, climate change is good for animals? Yes. Do you think uh, these classes are good for my students? Number seven. It's uh, this computer is out of order. Yes. Okay. The lift, the elevator is out, out of order. So I think you will have to use the stairs. Number eight. Um, I think if I don't tell you the truth, you will get, uh, you will be annoyed, yes, with me, yes, okay, all right, so all these words with examples, is it clear? Good, number two, had, ojo que este es el ejercicio que me interesa, tenemos Terry, Terry washed his car at the car wash, y tenés Terry y tenés had, entonces obviously that the grammar that you are going to use is a what, He said, how to get something done. So, Terry got, en, en pasado está bien, porque dice la voz. Had, porque tengo que usar had, his car washed. Is it clear? Yes, so you have something done. Is it clear? Yes, acordate que acá tiene que estar en la tercera columna, en el past participle. Y esto, podés jugar con esto. Terry will have his car washed. Terry has had his car washed. Terry have his car washed. Terry will have his car washed. Is it clear? So you can put this sentence in the in the in the tense you like, but in this case it's a pa it's past. Yes? Two. Uh, are we there? Number two. I didn't mean to break the window. It was an accident. Okay? I broke this window by accident. I did it. I didn't do it on purpose. ¿Y qué pasa? A ver, ¿qué puedo poner purpose si no, no sé nada? Si vos no te sabes las frases que nosotros estamos usando, va a, va a ser imposible que vos puedas armar, puedas armar esta, esta gramática. Entonces, por eso digo que todo lo que es vocabulario y eso, coma, En este ejercicio te fue mal en el anterior, ¿sí? Y algunos que le fue mal también, ¿sí? Tere, por ahí alguno que otro, en general, lo que me, 
me estoy acordando, no van a poder armar la frase si no se estudian estas gramáticas o este vocabulario, porque este ejercicio tiene mucho que ver que, que te da una gramática o puede ser con algo de vocabulario, ¿está? Is it clear? Como in this case, uh, like in this case, on purpose. Yes? Ok. Let's go to number three. Um, by. Entonces ahí tenemos by. Entonces, ¿qué grammar es la que tiene un by? Siempre muy bien. Alguien me contestó en casa, passive voice. Ok. A lot of damage was caused or was done by. Yes? Ok. Is it clear? En este caso el huracán. Yes? Si no me equivoco. Yes, okay, number four. Uh, rainwater has collected in a tube in my garden. In my garden. It's completely full. Rainwater. ¿Y qué teníamos de phrasal verb? Muy bien, alguien me dijo en casa, fill up. Yes, okay. So, uh, there, uh, blah, blah, blah. rainwater, ¿en qué tiempo está la frase? Voy a marcar que está has collected, entonces está en present, present perfect. Entonces, ¿cómo tengo que armar esta frase con present perfect? Usando fill up, el phrasal verb. So, rainwater has fill up a tube in my garden. Rainwater has fill up, llenar. Yes, ok. Number five. I've noticed changes in the weather over the last few years. Y tenés... Bin. A ver, bin me suena a un present perfect. ¿Cómo puedo armar esta frase con present perfect? Y diciendo lo que me pide arriba. There has been, there has been changes in the weather over ta ta ta. Y si clear, te das cuenta cómo es. Si no lo analizas así, it's going to be impossible that you can do this exercise successfully. Is it clear? Number six. Uh, this, exercise, this exercise is challenging, yes, for me it's challenging, or it was challenging when I did it, yes, when I practiced, when I was your age, when I was at the teaching training college, because it is college, because it is more and more, it becomes more and more difficult, yes, okay? Number six, I'm not sure about the idea, the idea, the idea of keeping a pet dog in a busy town, yes? I don't know. Y ahí tenés que saber cómo usar whether. ¿Ok? I don't know whether it is a good idea to keep a pet in a busy town. Yes? ¿Ok? Si es buena idea. Needs. It's necessary to find new ways to reduce our energy use, usage. Use, usage. Yes? We. Un, tenemos ahí un... Fre, eh, un Um, moral verb, yes, okay, we need to find new ways, yes, we need to find new ways, y ahí te tenés que acordar que el need es un moral verb que va con to, need to, I need to see you, I need to find, yes, we can reduce air pollution in cities by changing electricity, uh, electric cars, yes, B, air pollution in cities can be Um, reduced by changing to electric cars, yes? Y ahí tenés la gramática, can, un modal, be reduced. Puede ser reducido un eh, modal verb con voz pasiva, ¿está? Must be reduced, can be reduced, ¿ok? Is it clear? So pay attention, yes, ¿ok? Organize everything, yes? Study everything, Yes. Tienes que ser súper meticuloso con el tema de vocabulario, como te enseñé. Si sos meticuloso, si, sos, um, si prestas atención a todos estos tips que te doy, vas a poder adelantar. ¿Está? Any question, cualquier pregunta que tengan, uh, send me a message. Yes, ok. Well, uh, shall we go to pages 88 and 89? Yes, we are going to read a magazine, a magazine article about Reader's Recent Holiday. Which word does the writer use a lot? Do you think it's, um, this is a good style? Why, why not? Okay? Is it clear? Good, good, good. There we are. Well, what a great country. I've recently returned from a really enjoyable holiday with my fam family in France. 
and I would like to tell you, re your readers, about one particular day out that we loved. What do you think for on the perfect family holiday? Nice weather, nice food, nice people, and nice places to visit. Well, France has all these things, and the highlight of our stay was the Buval, Buval, well, I porque es francés esto, Buval Sur, yes, uh, tendrá su pronunciación en, en francés, así que busquémosla después. Normally, I don't like zoos, but this is one, this one is special. None of the animals come, come, comes from the wild, but from other zoos. They have a lot of different breeds of animals at the zoo, including lions, elephants, and white tiger. It's so nice to see animals that you normally only see on TV programs. The park is enormous and the animals have lots of space. For example, the giraffes and ry rhinos, reno, yes, have a nice park all to themselves. My favorite are where the penguins. They are such nice animals. They really make me laugh. There is a glass wall that lets you see them swim underwater. So if you are in the area and you love animals, do visit blah 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 zoo. You won't be disappointed. And at the end of the article, you can give a recommendation, your point of view. Yes, in articles you can put your ideas, you can uh, write your opinions, okay? So, which is the word that is used all the time here? It's nice, not too repetitive. Yes, nice, yes, okay. Uh, not too repet repetitive, doesn't show your knowledge of vocabulary. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a evitar? What you have to avoid is repeating words. Yes, esto es lo que te dije, um, um, Martin, that uh, Martin and Homa, that if you repeat, or many of you, but uh, I remember the specific these people, yes, many of you sometimes repeat vocabulary, and if you repeat, repeat, repeat words, it means that you don't have a wide uh, variety, a variety of uh, words, a variety, a variety of adjectives. So. You have to uh, avoid making repetitions, yes? Because it doesn't show your knowledge about vocabulary, yes, of vocabulary. Yes, uh, number two, you could use a friendly, kind, beautiful, uh, sunny, uh, interesting, funny, pleasant, delicious, unusual, yes? Okay, try to find another word to replace, nice, yes? And you must use synonyms, yes? This is a good uh, time for using synonyms, yes? For example, funny, pleasant, delicious, unusual, yes? All these synonyms will make your um, article, your piece of uh, writing, yes? Um, more according to your knowledge and your level, yes? Is it clear? Yes? Okay. I will show you one now, yes, okay. All right, yes, okay. So, um, well, you have, there were rhinos there, there were penguins there, a, a, a wide variety of animals, okay? Do you like rhinos? Yes, yes or no? Okay, I like them, yes, I think they are a bit dangerous. Yes, okay. Well, um, can we go to exercise three? Yes, okay. Number one, remember to do the activities and then listen to the answer. Now is the time that you stop, it's time that you stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Number one, highlight all these words. Uh, I got, I caught the bus. Number two, we went to France, we traveled, we flew. Three, the customer said, the customer complained. Number four, let's highlight the words, five. Uh, four, the film was bad, you can say boring, awful. Number five, 
Yes, I got a lot of money. I earned, I received a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. I liked the holidays. You could say, I enjoyed the holidays. So, remember that in the article, you must use synonyms. You must use grammar. Is it clear? All right. Well, um, I want you to go um, to uh, exercise uh, five. And it says, exercise four and five. Yes, I'm going to explain four, five, and six. Yes, okay. Um, yes, okay, are you there? It says, this is the, uh, the, the one you have to do, then I'm going to show you. Yes, okay. Okay, it says, uh, hi readers, I'm on page 88, exercise 4, 5 and 6, okay? It says, um, read the task and tell your partner which holiday you are going to write about and why. Hi readers, you have seen, um, you have seen this notice uh, in a magazine. Hi readers, we want to hear from you about holiday, about a holiday you've been on recently in, a, in an area that was really beautiful. We'll print the best three articles. Send your articles to me, Sandy, at the address below. Write your article. Number five, it says make notes and divide, into, divide the article into paragraphs. I'm going to explain that. Okay, number one, say where, this is the guide for you. Say where you went and who is. Say, number two, what trips you went on and what you saw. Three, say what was special about the area. And four, say whether you will return or, or where you are planning to go next. Yes? And then, what you have to check, is your grammar correct? Are you using a good, uh, are you using a big variety of vocabulary? Uh, is your article well organized? So, first of all, you have to do a brainstorming, okay? So, um, what about spelling? What about spelling? Yes? Or have you used an informal style? So, shall we go now to page 166? Yes? Okay. So, you have an example of article here. All right, I want you to go there. I want you to go to page 166. Yes, okay. And it says, okay, are you there? Good. So, you have the title there. It says, you have seen this advertisement on technology today in today's website. No for the title must be catchy. Yes, it means it must, it must call the reader's attention. If it has a good and catchy, um, I mean, a good and catchy, um, Title, yes, it went. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, a good and catchy title, I will continue reading your article. So, so that is a very important uh, thing about writing an article, the title. Okay? And then you have a, lo que llamamos copete. Yes, okay? What is under, that is a, a short and brief, um, a short and brief, um paragraph showing what is it about what would you like what would your life be without your phone we are looking for articles to post on our website send us your article and you could win a new phone of your choice okay and no phone a nightmare that is a very good and attractive title yes okay because i want to continue reading it okay and then you have 
do try to think of an interesting title to, co to catch the reader's attention, as we have already said, yes? Okay, then start with an interesting phrase, sentence, to encourage the reader to continue reading. Quite honestly, I can't imagine life without cell phones, okay? First of all, I want you to read this article, I want you to read this article, yes, and then write your own one. But if you have problems with the organization of the topics, do write your brainstorming. Is it clear? Okay, this is my advice, okay? Um, I can't imagine life without my mobile phone. It is always with me. Whenever I go, it's my, it is in my pocket, and even at night, it's by my bed in case I get late, a late call uh, or text. Lift up. Yes, okay, and then you continue to give an opposite opinion were appropriate, yes? My parents think this is a, a crazy thing because blah, 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 and you give examples. Is it clear? So, no. you must uh, talk about what is positive and then on the other side, what other people think about a phone, yes, okay? Then, you have to use informal linkers. Ojo que acá sí se puede usar uh, conectores informales. Ojo, eh? Do you use direct question to involve the reader? What could you do without a phone? Yes, okay? Have you ever lived without your phone? Do you think you could live without it? Yes, okay? So, you have to use direct questions. Is it clear? Do you use an informal style? Y ahí te, mu te muestra, I suppose. Obvio que ahí estás metiendo, estás metiendo cosas informales. Yes, okay. Uh, do try to finish with an interesting ending. Acordate 197 words. Yo te voy a pedir el tuyo que tenga 150 palabras. Yes, 150 words para empezar. Yes, okay. No te pases de eso porque a, a pasarte más... Tenemos más margen de error y yo quiero que comencemos con 150, ¿yes? Because I say so. ¿Yes? Ok. Bueno, obvio que hay gente que escribe muy bien y que va a querer escribir un testamento. Pero ahora nos situamos, nos paramos en 150, ¿yes? Ok. ¿Entendido, my niños que escriben bien? Ok. Y es en realidad, todos podemos llegar a escribir muy bien, pero hay gente que son buenos readers, que leen hasta en la bañera, entonces... Esas personas que yo siempre digo que leen mucho, obvio que van a tener una buena escritura también. Entonces, the more you read, um, the better your writings will be. ¿Es it clear? Muy bien. Bueno, y obvio que todo el mundo puede mejorar, le tiene que poner onda y ganas. Tenemos useful language here. Have you ever considered, yes, para, to involve the reader? Yes, can you imagine? How many people would agree with that? Surely everyone should be allowed to. Uh, for a start, to begin with, firstly, another important point is, as well as that, yes, to mention different points, yes, and giving your opinion, I strongly believe that a person couldn't live, yes, uh, won't be able to live without a phone, yes, okay? I also think that, I imagine, I suppose. This could be... Um, the explanation on how you can organize it. And I have, of course, I have prepared, yes, more things for you. Yes, okay? It's a bit, it's a bit cold, isn't it? I have to get, I have to get my air conditioner, my central heating prepared. Yes, this is an example, yes? <coughs> Right? <coughs> Sorry. Good. Okay? So you have, as we have already said before, a catchy title. Yes? Okay? And generally, here you put uh, the title here. Here. Yes? Holiday, blah, blah, blah. Holiday and the title here by Fulanito de Tal. Yes, okay, and then you have the introduction, yes, the body and the ending, yes, okay, here you have to conclude, yes, okay, as we have already said, yes, okay, 
you can recommend yes uh people yes to uh you can give a recommendation there yes okay give your opinion at the end is it clear yes finish with an interesting ending and you can give your opinion in an article está que te quede claro que en los artículos sí puedes dar tu opinión the um it's informal yes you have you can use linkers informal linkers so you have the title here yes a catchy title the introduction yes describe the holiday and how it relates to what you are going to talk in the body yes you can talk remember to use sangria mili yes the famous sangria the famous sangria cada vez que vamos a comenzar un párrafo yes eso es todo mili martin todo tenemos que mejorar el tema de puntuación porque nos saca un punto cada puntuación si te olvidas mayúscula sangría comas yes okay uh, the body, acuérdate que en el body no puedes poner una opinión que no hayas uh, eh, puesto en la introducción, ¿sí? ¿Está? Voy a hablar de verduras, no puedo poner frutas. ¿Is it clear? Yes, and then you conclude uh, with a positive, fun or festive, festive note. There. Here you can list examples also, yes, okay? You can uh, give... Um, an opposing opinion, as we have already said, I think that using phones is blah, blah, blah. But on the opposite, on the other side, my parents don't agree with the idea of sleeping with the phone. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good. So that is for you. Yes, okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. And you have another one. You know, the type of... Um, la, el tipo de letras, yes, okay, is it clear? Three ways to um, blah, 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 yes, holiday, stress free, then you have the copete, y después ya organizas tus párrafos, okay, you organize your paragraph, yes, design your living space or it's blah, 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 design your days to put yourself First, design your bedroom for a good night's sleep, blah, 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 blah. Yes, okay. Then you finish with your recommendation and everything. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. Well, I hope it is clear for you. Shall we go to the revision now? Yes. Acordate de conseguir el, los cuadernillos, por favor. Yes. No te quedes sin eso porque no vas a poder trabajar con la homework en las vacaciones. Y acuérdate que voy a dar tarea de ahí para reforzar los tópicos que quiero reforzar. Por eso no están planificadas las pages que necesito que hagas. Yes? Ok. Um, well, one, uh, now is the time that you pause the video, do the revision on page 89, and then listen to the answer. First of all, you have to match the sentences beginning from 1 to 6 with the endings from A to F. Then, you have to read the text about a new invention and complete the sentences from 1 to 6 with the passive voice. Remember, passive voice is B plus past participle. A hamburger was cooked by teacher Ruth. A hamburger is cooked by teacher Ruth. A hamburger will be cooked by teacher Ruth, yes? A hamburger has been cooked by teacher Ruth, yes? Will a hamburger be cooked by teacher Ruth? Yes, is it clear? So, revise the grammar first. Number three, complete the second sentence so that it has a similar meaning. To the first, use one or two words to complete the sentences, okay? And number four, complete the questions and answer using the words in bracket. Where necessary, use causative have. ¿Cuál es el causative have? Pues esto no dimos, teacher, no. It's have or get something done. Is it clear? I will go to the answers. And now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Number one is false. Number two, my, perdón. One F, two E, three A, four C, 5B, 6D. Yes? Okay? 
One F turn off. Two E. Yes, two E. Gone off. Acordate los significados. Go off is when the food, you can eat the food because it's out of date. Yes, okay? Number four. C. Four C. Four, four, four C. To her age is to catch on. But once she understood, catch on is to understand. Yes? She was furious. She, she, she was furious. Okay? Okay? Um, then what you have there? Te quiero decir dónde estaban todos estos. Tenemos eh, en la unidad 8 estamos take over, fill up, catch on, fall out, turn down and go off. Yes, okay. Is it clear? And then you have uh, blah 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 blah. Get in, stay ahead, try out, start up, think up. Y es going to... Hay bastantes. Eso sería unidad 6, ¿eh? Ojo, 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 ¿eh? Ok. Uh, number 4, are you there? Yes, ok. 4C. Yeah. It took her ages to catch on. But once she understood, she was curious. Yes. Understand. Yes, ok. Number 5. It cost me, blah, 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 100 euros to fill... Yes, 5B, up my car with petrol. Jessica has offered to take over responsibility for recycling bottles and paper. Take over. Yes, okay. Is it clear? 6D. Todas estas palabritas tienen que estar en de la A a la Z. ¿Está claro? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. All the phrasal verbs too. Yes, okay. Take over, take control, fill up to make something completely full. Catch on to understand. Look, aparecieron fall out to have an argument. Yes. And stop having the relationship, a friendship. Turn down. Yes. Um, to lower, turn down the volume. Acordate. Go off. Bueno, to lose is freshness. Yes. You can't eat it when it is gone off. Yes. Okay. Number two. Has been worn, can be collected, will certainly be saved, was inspired, was developed, are being made. Number three, number three, she got rid of, otra vez aparece get rid of, deshacerse de. Si no. Lo tenés anotado. Si no lo tenés estudiado en de la A a la Z, no vas a poder resolver esto y vas a poner cualquier cosa. ¿eh? ¿Is it clear? Entonces, cuando yo voy dando estos temas y voy diciendo, ahora escribimos ejemplos con esto en el cuadernito y yo doy ejemplos, vos tenés que ir haciendo ejemplos a la par conmigo. También podés buscar ejemplos en online, con lo que sea. Eso yo no me puedo meter porque si vos haces otras cosas, buscás y ves, no hay problema. Yes, number two. Can be collected, will certainly be safe. Number four, was inspired, was developed, are being made. Bueno, me voy a tres. Read off, get rid of. Two, take it off. Three, take advantage of. Four, break it on purpose. Y son fáciles estas, chicos, eh? Okay, I agree with him up to the point. Yes, up to the point. Hasta un punto, hasta cierto punto. Number seven, succeed in, yes, I succeed in um, repairing my bike. Yes, okay. At the, yes, are you busy at the moment? Number four, did or have done ourselves, ourselves, have done. Number three, have our, or the window changed, have solar, pan solar panels installed. Did you decorate the house? 
Yes. Number five. Did you decorate the house? Ahí no es un constative. A veces que es un tiempo verbal nomás. Uh, number six. Had the outside painted. Number seven. Had the cupboards made. And number eight. Fitted. Yes. Okay. Because here you have to complete with constative. We have to get something done if necessary. Is it clear? Good. Well. Uh, that is all. Yes. Um, I hope you study. Little by little, no de que estar y estudiar todo para última hora. Hay que levantar esas notas, por favor, la gente que estuvo muy baja. Yes, is it clear? Así que eh, a ponerse las pilas, porque si no, no vamos a llegar a lo que quieren llegar, ¿sí? To be successful at the end of the year. Is it clear? Bye bye, happy weekend, see you next class. Get the cuadernillos, please. Get the cuadernillos. Don't forget about it.